ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go, early round action with the UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovski. And when you want to talk about mixed martial arts evolution, perhaps no man has improved as much over the last two or three years than the featherweight king Alexander Volkanovski, so much so that his opponent tonight doesn't necessarily know what he is in for. Man, this is wild. If you like offense, these fighters are going at it. All gas, no brakes, baby. Let's go. <laughs> position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that he's probably going to hold up after two. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a team. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in his fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, that's a sharp hook there. Oh! Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Beautiful reversal in the ground. Half guard now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to you. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Yusuf's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see him. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Final seconds of the round. <laughs> Uppercut last now. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time, just... You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Cowering with a jab here. Nice block by Volkanovski. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Whiffs on the elbow. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, how about... 
about that strong reversal on the ground? All right, feet on the hips here. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Volkanovski. Oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, drop it! Oh, Volkanovski's right back to the full mount here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh! Reverses the position there. Nice transition by Yusuf. A round it was for him, DC, and of course the seven. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He was able to block that shot. Oh, nice elbow. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier. Oh, huge elbow. Lands a big elbow there. These boys are swinging. in. I was trying to get to you. Well, you know this is the hurt business. And oh! Another one! He's got the single combo. Oh, huge elbow there. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Shot too. Oh! Massive left hand. Volkanovski's cut, not getting blood in his eyes per se, but that is a huge gash on the cheek. Kind of looks like a slot machine right now, and if we get in between rounds, the ringside physician and the cut man are going to have their work cut out for him. Well, it looks like the ref has paused the action here. Oh, he's going to call in the doctor to look at that cut. I don't know, John. It looks bad, man. It's a bad cut. I don't know what the decision is going to be here. It can go either way. Not too much blood. The doctor taking a long look here, and it looks as though this fight will continue, at least for yep. now. Fans are going to like that. That's really good. Good call Ready, by fight. the officials. Ready. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination. The determination is get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. Volkanovski's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Big, big strikes continue to land. Oh, Volkanovski's has got full mount now. And now he's a tip choke. Oh, now it's getting tight. Arm trying to get very close. He's got to clear that guard, though, if he wants to find a finish. He's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. 
Oh, he got to the spot. Under 20 seconds now to go. Full side control now. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five, five minutes. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Volkanovski's going for the sub here. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. some way he got out. These guys are Ooh, back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. This has got to be it. Unbelievable that he was able to survive that triangle attempt. He took slight movements, got off to the right side, got his arm free, and found safety. That was tremendous defense. Volkanovski trying to escape. He Let's didn't go. go out, he got out. Great job defensively by the fighter. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Yusuf's back in half court. Oh, right, it's a mount. He's got side control here, DC. You know he's got... Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so that he can get pressure to... Neon Billy. Good movement defensively here on the ground. By this is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, Volkanovski's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Those are sounds for the end of round four. All right, back to the scores now. He is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. We knew it was going to be a bloody fight. We knew this, okay? We're under control. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready. Ready. Go. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Nice punch there by Volkanovski. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, big elbow. 
big he lands to the body. And now some knees. Oh, and there is another knee. He throws that knee almost as if it's a punch. He's landed several in this round. And now you can see some of the damage really starting to show on his opponent. Yusuf's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there. An elbow! Oh, this could do it. Oh, he hit him again! getting worked to the body here on the ground. It was the elbow there. He didn't think that would be the strike coming, and he paid for it. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the <laughs> Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Volkanovski's an absolute mess right now. There is blood everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them call in the ringside position between rounds. He's got the sub locked in. That guillotine jump is getting tight, but you can't just squeeze. You gotta get your hips into your opponent if you want him to tap. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. Yusuf's got his hand looking for a guillotine jump. Oh, that gilly is tight. Oh, under the chin here. Let's work. Let's turn it up. Could be the end. He's got to start throwing down. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. You have to fight back. One minute to go in the fight. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Now he's going full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now. He's a bloody mess. Final 10 seconds of the fight. go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 47-47. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a unanimous draw. Well, he wasn't much for words during fight week. He just kept saying, and still, and that's exactly how it goes down tonight. Congratulations to the UFC featherweight champion of the world. Starting to close that gap on the all-time greats, too, with this result tonight. He is one of the greatest featherweight champions we have ever seen. He carries himself with a demeanor that says that you will not take this belt from me. Plenty ways get rich.